Hey everybody, welcome back to Quiet Life Homestead. I'm Gina, and today we're gonna talk about grocery haul. Um, I finally found, I'll give you up a little bit. I finally found a little tiny grocery store that's actually like more of a value, like a discount grocery store. Um, so I'm gonna show you what we got today. Got some decent prices. Prices are just so out of control. And I have yet to find, um, for a while I've been looking for red cabbage, I've been looking for zucchini, and for some reason in my area, they're very hard to find. Red cabbage is $2.97 a pound. So if you get a small red cabbage, I think Walmart was trying to charge like seven or eight dollars for that thing. So that was a no. Um, I am gonna grow my own, but until the garden is coming in, I did find some crazy looking red cabbage to kind of get through, you know, the red cabbage slump. I don't know, do people like red cabbage? I love red cabbage. Anyway, it's a great side dish, it's very easy. It's gluten-free, um, fits with my uh, detox thing that I'm doing, so. All right, so we got some things that were on sale. Here's a tip, shop in the midweek. If you shop on Wednesdays or Thursdays, generally meat's getting ready to be marked down for, um, or it is marked down for the um, new stuff that they're getting in for the weekend, which is their big shopping days. Okay, so what we got was some pork spare ribs, is that right? Country ribs, in case there are rib aficionados for grilling, barbecue, that type thing. Um, if anybody has a good pork uh, rib recipe, I'm open. I do them in the oven sometimes. I've done them in the crock pot, but I'm always open to a new recipe. All right, we did get some steaks. This is just a, a chuck steak. These are both just chucks, big chuck steaks. Uh, one was $8.79 and one was $8. Um, that'd be good for a meal for us. Um, they had this. Has anybody seen this yet? This is hot habanero cheese. It's Monterey Jack cheese with jalapenos and habanero peppers. Anyway, I got some spicy pepper lovers, pepper jack and sharp. That's just for hamburgers or whatever. But this is the exciting find of the day. So Walmart was selling two teeny tiny, look like pickles zucchini for $1.50 or $1.88 each or something like that. It was ridiculous. So I have gotten some zucchini, but they've been tiny and they've been expensive, like $1.50 each or something. So today at Hearts, in their two for five, I got these really nice sized zucchinis. Again, zucchinis will be coming out of our ears. I've got three different kinds of zucchini. They're all starts though. They're about this big. So you know, it's gonna be a while. Um, in the meantime, I like zucchini. I'm going to cut all this up and I am going to freeze it because zucchini freezes very well. And I'm gonna have that to grill. And so 250 for three of them. And they're not like, they don't look like pickles. So that's great. All right, next we have more meat. I think I was looking really to, um, build up the meat freezer again because the meat freezer is getting low. We've eaten through stuff that we brought with us from Virginia, so it's a good thing, good problem. I've um, got some sirloin steaks for $5 each. I don't know, steak when it goes down to like $5, I, I'm, I'm pretty much in. Um, these are $6 steaks for two, six each. And then we ended up getting some more, but these are beef ribs. And these are only, these were originally $9.20, they're down to $4. 25 and um so i snatched up a couple of those i think yeah this is another so these are the beef ribs which i'm kind of leaning towards because um the uh, program that i'm doing limits your pork consumption at first so i haven't reintroduced it yet but i will um these are cube steaks i got them for a pretty decent price i got like Three cube steaks for five bucks. So I went ahead and got two of those. They were on sale. 
Um, let's see. This is beef short ribs. So another pack of beef short ribs for $6.53. I like the beef ribs. I don't know. I know people are either pork or beef rib people, but I think I'm a beef rib person. So this one was a bigger pack for like nine bucks. It's a lot of ribs. A lot of ribs. I guess it's the season. And then I got one massive. This is pork ribs, and these are just you jungus for six dollars and this is just all for barbecues and you know throwing them in the crock pot when i need a quick meal all right um let's see what we got next i feel like i'm doing an infomercial um also got some grass-fed beef um this is grass-fed organic beef it was Six ninety nine a pound, I think. Um, we will not be buying any more ground beef from the store because number one, we have uh, a food delivery service or a, a meat service that's going to be starting up here. But this was just stopgap. Um, I also have a lady that I buy all of our ground beef from that's here local. She raises, um, you know, local beef. So <clears throat> she'll be at the farmer's market this weekend. The farmer's market opens this weekend, which I'm pumped about. So I will fill my meat freezer uh, with her good stuff. And we actually can buy it like a half a cow from her. So that's probably what we'll do when we get our chest freezer, which is the next phase. Uh, some renovations happening. We're going to so we're going to start a project, which is that we're going to be turning our porch room into a grow slash food preservation room so that the freeze dryer is not in our laundry room. It makes a lot of noise um, and mixing food and dirt and laundry. It doesn't. It's not working for me. So anyway, we got some watermelon for $2.98. It's a seedless watermelon already halfway there. It's much easier just to deal with that. Normally I would cut a big watermelon, but so super exciting. I have no idea how much these cost me. This was at a different market and they didn't look super healthy, but they were cheap. This was like a dollar 19 a pound, I think. And so whatever I paid for this, you know, I'm going to slice it all and freeze it and I'll have some. And these are the size of zucchinis we're talking about. But I had stopped in this little tiny, tiny market and gotten these for like $1.50 each. And then I went to Hearts and got that massive deal. So uh, the Walmart ones are actually smaller than this. And I could, I could probably grab one out of the fridge. But pretty soon we'll be swimming in zucchini and it won't matter. I don't care. All right. We also got some steaks. Got a ribeye couple of ribeyes actually two ribeyes and they were down they were on sale like for 10 bucks so that made them five dollars per steak which falls into my wheelhouse and yes for five dollars a steak i'm your girl all right here's the other things that we got um oh i got some let's see wild caught shrimp they were cheap they were like seven dollars i find i'm eating a lot more shrimp these days um just because they're super quick you can pop them in the air fryer or in the skillet and they are like a quick lunch quick dinner when i just just don't feel like doing anything else all right and the last bag oh first of all these were kind of cool i'd never really seen these before but they were marked down these are keto hot dog buns. I got these for my husband. Um, I'm not doing gluten right now. Um, and it probably does have some stuff I normally wouldn't, but every once in a while I need a hot dog bun. All right, I got some. Bare Naked Granola was on the clearance rack for $4 per pack, so I got two. That's it. I cannot find clean, super clean. There's no such thing as clean barbecue sauce. I, I do make my own. I make a paleo recipe, but I have not 
I've been too lazy to do that. So I'm settling for gluten-free. Um, I will have to introduce nightshades before I use this, but but my son and my husband can, can do it. Um, and then we tried, we're going to try Kinder's. This is the hot and that's the uh, sweet. So we will see what we see. Another thing that seems ridiculously hard to find is uh, local Arkansas honey. Um, I did have a source and that source is going out of business. So I did pick up one of these. And it's good. We've had this one from Gunther Apiary up in Roland. That's very good. The rest of it, I got like six, six cans of Rotel. And that's what I got. So I'm really pleased with the store that I found. I'm getting tired of shopping at Walmart. And I always find that Kroger is just, <sighs> Kroger will have some things that are unusual that I need, but um, I don't like going in there. The one next to us is really big. This grocery store was very small and manageable, felt very personal. Um, so anyway, that's what uh, we did, and we're gonna be packaging up some of this for the freezer, so we'll take you along for that ride too.